Hello everybody, this is Serpent. Welcome back to another episode in how to use redstone. And in this one, I'm going to show you a bunch of logic gates. All of these work on 1.14 as in other as in other versions. And I will explain how they work and show you an overhead of how they're built. So, not much else to say. These uh, these things can be used to control events given circumstances with the the Minecraft redstone stuff. <laughs> So, the first one is just input output, flick, <laughs> no, nothing special there. The second one is the not gate, and that means that when this lever is not flicked, the output turns on. This is the and gate. When both of these levers are flicked, the output turns on. When anything else, it's off. And then there's the nand gate, which is the same thing except with an inverted pulse. So you can see that when both of them are on, the output turns off, and otherwise it's on. And that's the same sort of uh, same sort of formatting as as with other names. So if it's got an N in front of it, then it'll probably be a uh, probably be an inverted pulse of one of the other ones. So we have next the OR gate, and this one is if any of these levers are on, then the output is on. And then there's the NOR gate which is the same thing except inverted. When either is on, the output turns off. Then we have the XOR gate. So this one is a lot like the uh, a lot like the OR gate, except if either of these levers uh, if either of these levers is on, then the output turns on. But if both of the levers are on, then the output turns off. So it's either le lever, not either or both levers. And here is how to build that one. Then you have the X NOR gate, which is the uh, the same thing except with the inverted pulse with the N. Um, so it'll be on unless one and only one of the levers is flicked on. And that's how to build that one. Over here now we have RS NOR latches. And these are pretty useful things. Um, they can they can be used to, uh, to store data. So if you if you have an event and you're waiting for other events to happen before then something else happens, RS NOR latches are pretty useful. Um, they can also be used in other situations too, of course. But this is uh, this is how to build one of them. And the way it works is you push the button and it switches uh, switches states. And if you push the button again, it does not switch states until you push the other button. So this can be used to store some data until the reset line is pushed, which is pretty neat stuff. The, uh, the more compact way of doing this, which I generally use, is two dropper droppers facing into each other. And you can push the button to move the item between the droppers. Works the same way. Uh, and the comparators take the pulse out. But if you want a silent one, this is uh, this is a pretty good one to go for. The last one here is going to be the only gate, and that is that means that when only this lever is flicked, the output turns on. When this one is flicked, it turns off. When this one and this one are flicked, it turns off. And when neither of them are flicked, it turns off. Only when that one's flicked will it turn on. And this is how to make this one. However, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, and bye-bye.